We're here with Red Bank Valley head coach Ed Wazalowski. Coach Ed, uh, big W here against City League Carrick. Uh, talk a little bit about the game. Got off to a little bit of a slow start. Made some halftime adjustments. I asked the kids at halftime if we could play any worse than we did in the first half, and they all yelled no, and I said, could we play better, and they all yelled something yes, and, and they proved it. Uh, I was so proud of them. Could have hung our heads. We didn't. Uh, we came out and executed like I, I thought we could have. I, actually, I felt pretty good at half. 7-7. Seven, seven. I thought if we, like I said, couldn't play any worse, and if we played Red Bank football, I thought we'd win the game, and it turns out we were, I was right. Uh, Jake Doherty, definitely a leader today. Nine for 16, threw for 149 yards, threw for two touchdowns, even ran for one. How big is his leadership on the offensive side of the ball? Four-year senior. Uh, we rarely run a bad offensive play where you know, we're running into the teeth of the defense, and that's a big part of Jake. Uh, he understands the offense so well. He knows what we're trying to accomplish, and if we're in a bad play, uh, the way we run our offense, he can get us out of it. And he generally makes the right check. And uh, he had a rough first half there, but uh, he showed his true leadership and came back in the second half. And as they all did, they all picked it up and, and couldn't be prouder of him. Got a lot of help from the Moni brothers. Uh, Curtis, 14 runs for 120 yards, 21 yards. Colton was 14 for 96. The brothers combined for 217. Looks like a real good two two uh, two back attack from two brothers. Uh, what do they bring that dynamic to the offense to? Actually, they're cousins. Cousins. Same same family. Cousins. <laughs> uh, I think this was our coming out party. We had Mark for four years. Struthers, you know, he graduated, and that was a big question mark in our offense. Uh, we knew they they're talented runners. I was wondering if they could hold up, picking up blitzes, make them. We expect them to block a lot, and uh, I think, like I said, it was their coming out party tonight, and I'm, I'm real happy for them. And on the defensive side of the ball, we can't forget Riley Shoemaker, Shoemaker, nine tackles on D. Defense really got you out of some jams in the first half there with a couple turnovers there. I'll speak a little bit about how good your defense was tonight and how they helped you guys out. Um, with their speed, I was worried about some matchups. Uh, actually, they're, they're a good kid for them, but went out number 11, and I think that took a lot of steam out of their sails, or some steam out of their sails, or wind out of their sails, I guess I should say. But uh, Riley's a beast. Uh, he's our Mike linebacker. He does, I think he's just getting a feel for it. He played defensive back last year. I think he's going to really get better, believe it or not, as the season goes on. Hey, Coach, thank you for your time today. Good luck next week. We'll hope to see you later on in the season. Thank you very much.